never been here before. We are actually heading to Nashville this week. Um, he got me tickets for Christmas to go see Chris Tomlin on Good Friday. Um, so that is this Friday. And we will be heading there on Wednesday this week. So we've got to got, kind of got to get a lot of things done today. Um, he's mowing the grass right now and uh, I'm doing some laundry. So what I want to do is kind of outfit plan, um, get, get things together like in a spot, probably in the corner of my room upstairs, and then start getting out bags that I need to pack with. Um, maybe start packing makeup and things like that. And I kind of want to plan out my week too because Monday, Tuesday, I'll have to work. Um, but I would really like to self tan because guys, I'm pretty pale. And I really want to be a little smidge bit tanner because being tan makes you feel good, makes you look a little bit better, I think, makes you feel a little bit better. So. Hopefully we can tan Tuesday night before we leave. That way it'll last um, and be fresh for the weekend, the week and the weekend um, leading up to Easter. Cause we'll be heading back from Nashville home on Saturday. Um, so yeah, just wanted to give you a little update there. Um, yeah, come along. <laughs> Option number one, very um, casual super casual and if I take off my jacket it's got a really low back if I weren't have if I didn't have a bra on um so it's cute I feel like it is super or no please no I feel like it is super spring um but I'm not sure I'm not sure what bra I would wear because this is really see-through. Um, and it's kind of, it's a lot lower than what I normally wear. So yeah, I think it's cute. So we will see about this one. Okay, here's option number two, which I think is just darling. I fell in love with this shirt. Gosh, I don't even remember where I got it. Um. But I think it is so sweet. It has these little um, flower details all around it. Um, it's really see-through, so I just shoved on a, or I just threw on a um, strapless top because the back, I think it looks cool with the strapless kind of thing. It's kind of what I was going for, like out on the town with, like maybe some sandals or I don't know. We'll, we would figure shoes out later, but I think this is a huge contender. We would obviously get all the wrinkles and stuff out. Um, but I just love the little like simplicity springy flair that this one has. I think it is super, super, super sweet. And with that last one that I just tried on with the, um, the floral shirt. I just remembered I have this super pretty knitted like head scarf that I could wear with it. I think that would pair so cutely together. So yeah, we'll probably bring that along as well. This next one is an outfit that I really love. These pants, you kind of can't tell on camera. It kind of washes them out. Let me go see, sit in the sun. Um, if you can tell, it's like an olivey green color. It's really beautiful. Um, but I love these pants. They're super, super comfortable. Um, really wrinkly. I would take some wrinkle release to it. But I love this outfit. It's so, like, comfortable but cute. A little dressy. Um, but not, like, too dressy. I think um, the back is super, super pretty. I can't manage to get it buttoned um, like all myself. So um, I would need help with that. But just the like the, the detail on the neckline and, and throughout just screams spring to me. So I love this top. I've only worn it once before. So I think this would be really, really pretty 
with some, maybe some slip-on sandals, um, just something super simple and easy to go with because this is a really cute look. And I think I would wear this to um, the concert on Friday. But this is going in the bag for sure. Okay, this next one, I love this skirt. It actually was bought like for our honeymoon, um, but I didn't get to wear it because we went to this island, it's called Little Gasparilla. It's off of the Gulf of Florida. It's so small um, and we, I didn't really get to wear this anywhere because we didn't go out a whole lot. I would love to wear this out in Nashville one day. I think this is super, like, super Nashville um, attire. So maybe, maybe we'll give it a shot out there. I don't know, but I think this is super cute. And like, even with like a little tank top underneath it, I think this would be so stinking cute. But I just paired it with this um, sweater that could go with it let's try with a like cami i think i like it even better with the cami top but you could totally wear like that hoodie over it too here is the second skirt kind of outfit not loving the top um it is super cute but i think cute on its own or like with a pair of jeans um not cute with this skirt. Not really a fan of this skirt with this. So give me one second. Okay, so I think this bodysuit goes with this skirt more than the other one definitely does. And I think that's really pretty actually. I might go with this combination. I feel like I would need like a little something. Let's look at a sweater. That's cute. It's like the kind of big sweater, so if I wanted to like off the shoulder. Is it too much? Too many patterns. Is it too much? Or is it super cute? There are so many things to do in Nashville and the first night that we were there we kind of just wanted to explore. It had been raining so it was kind of nasty weather but the first place that we hit up was called the Stillery and it's a little hole in the wall kind of restaurant um, and it was so good. The food was delicious, the sweet tea was good. Um, I highly recommend going there if you're planning to stop by Nashville. We really just explored this night. We checked out some live music and kind of got the whole Broadway scene and experience um, completed the very first night so we could do other things the next day. The next morning we hit up Gardens of Babylon, which was this plant nursery and greenhouse within a farmer's market. They had all kinds of vegetables, trees, flowers, decorations for a garden outside water features they had literally everything you could ever want for your garden at the same farmer's market we stopped by this turkish towel place and the guy actually made these towels by hand he said it took him two days to make um 
or one full day to make two towels. So that was really interesting. Next, we headed over to the Tennessee State Museum and we really didn't know what we were walking into. It was just something to do right beside of the farmer's market. And we actually really enjoyed this. It was interesting to see all the state history and there was lots of paintings, lots of um, just historical background and we both really enjoy things like that, so we decided we would stop in there for a few. And right beside of the Tennessee State Museum, we overheard these bells chiming and we were like what is that so we actually just walked right over um, and these towers have bells inside of them that are on a timer so that was really really cool to witness and and just look at and really just take it all in this is called the bicentennial capitol mall state park and what we're looking at now is a world war ii memorial so that was really nice to just oversee and take in. Once we got done walking around, we were really hungry, so we stopped by Assembly Food Hall, and this place has 30 plus eateries inside of it. We were so overwhelmed with the amount of places to eat in there, and we were actually very impressed with the quality and how good the food was. So the very next day, we actually went back to eat there again. Now our very last stop was the Nashville Parthenon, and this is their take on the Grecian Parthenon in Athens, which we really had no idea what we were stepping into. It's just something that we saw online, and we were like, yeah, let's go see it. We're here, might as well. And there was all kinds of art inside, beautiful art. And then we came face to face with this magnificent statue of Athena. Really, we were just in so much awe and everybody around us was too, because that's not something that we were expecting when we walked up these stairs and, and you know, we're just presented with this massive piece of gold. If you're looking for a nice, calming, peaceful walk, I highly recommend just stepping outside of the Parthenon and going around the little lake. It's so calm and beautiful. I think it would be really, really pretty in full bloom. At this point, me and Spencer were feeling snackish, so we went to L&L Market and stopped at this um, place. It's called Culture & Co. and they had all kinds of cheeses and crackers um, and little bakery things. And they also had at l, l Market a Five Daughters Bakery. And that was one place that I had to go while we were here in Nashville. So we just stopped and got some donuts Finally, well. we headed to Bridgestone Arena for the Chris Tomlin Good Friday concert and had the most wonderful Good Friday together. We have finally made it home. <laughs> so we finally made it back from Nashville and um, it's about 7 30 almost 8 here um i i do think i came down with something while i think i caught something while we were down there but you know it is what it is we're traveling um i sound worse than i feel if that makes sense but yeah we um before we got home we stopped by one of my friends gender reveal parties and she is pregnant with a little boy so congratulations to you, Lexi and Alex. Um, but yeah, we had such an eventful trip and uh, it was really, really special just to spend some time together and explore new sites, a new city. So we are very grateful and thankful that we got to spend Good Friday together and, and to spend it in such a really cool way with ending it um, with Chris Tomlin and um, just being able to spend it with 
each other again has been very special for us. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, just leave them below and I'll um, get back to you as soon as I can. Happy, happy, happy Easter. Bye guys.